In this video I want to show you how you can boost your metabolism naturally backed by science. A fast metabolism will help you to burn through more calories and will make it easier to lose weight and keep the weight off. Throughout aging our metabolism slows down naturally and losing weight by restricting calories is another safe way to decrease your metabolism. You might have heard about the TV show The Biggest Loser, right? Scientists followed the participants for 6 years after the show ended and found that 13 out of 14 participants gained back the weight and 12 out of 14 showed a clear slowdown of their metabolism, which was likely why they regained the weight. On average they burned 500 calories less than before. So losing weight by restricting calories is a safe way to scrub your metabolism. But fortunately scientific research over the last years has identified 9 methods to counteract this. Let's get the obvious ones out of the way to focus on the interesting things you might not already know. So getting enough sleep and doing a decent amount of exercise, ideally weightlifting or high intensity workouts will certainly boost your metabolism. But I don't think this is new to you. So let's move on. While simply restricting calories will slow down your metabolism, optimizing your diet composition may prevent this. Let's look at a study that compared the effects of diets with different amounts of carbohydrates on resting metabolic rate. For this, volunteers first went through a run-in diet with 45% carbohydrates, where the total energy intake was restricted by 40% of their daily calories for 12 weeks. Afterwards, the participants switched to three different diets that varied in carbohydrate content 60%, 40% or 20% carbohydrates. Protein and calories were the same across all three diets. As you can see in this graph, switching to a low carbohydrate diet and therefore a high fat diet boosted the metabolism greatly. Volunteers who consumed only 20% of their calories from carbohydrates burned on average 200 calories more per day compared to the high carb diet group. Now you might be wondering how is this possible? Well, great question. The most likely explanation is that processed high glycemic carbohydrates lead to hormonal changes and thereby lower energy expenditure, so a slower metabolism. After all, it's our hormones that control how we feel and how much fat we burn or store. The idea behind it is called the carbohydrate insulin model. You can write into the comment section if you want to learn more about it. Many people believe that eating small frequent meals will boost your metabolism. But it's actually the very opposite. Intermittent fasting has been shown to speed up your metabolism. Fasting increases fat burning hormones like the human growth hormone or norepinephrine and lowers fat storage hormones like insulin. Studies found that alternate day fasting could decrease insulin by 57% but more than doubled human growth hormone levels and norepinephrine levels. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that fasting for up to 3 days increased resting energy expenditure by about 14%. However, to be fair, another study found that a 3 day fast decreased resting metabolic rate by 8%. It is likely the best to stick to fasting periods between 16 and 48 hours, as studies found that alternate day fasting for up to 22 days does not decrease resting metabolic rate despite the fact that the subjects lost a significant amount of body fat. Another great way to prevent a metabolism slowdown is to include diet breaks during your weight loss journey. Researchers divided people into two groups. One group dieted continuously with a 25% caloric deficit on every day of the week, while the other group restricted the calories by 35% from Monday till Friday and had a diet break on weekends. After 7 weeks, the diet break group lost more body fat, kept more lean muscle mass and the metabolism slowed down less compared to the continuous diet group. Generally speaking, diet breaks not only help to prevent a metabolism slowdown but often lead to better results in the long term when it comes to weight loss. Like in this study, where the intermittent dieting group lost on average about 4 kilograms more compared to the continuous dieting group. Eating enough protein is another big one when it comes to boosting your metabolism. Protein has the highest thermic effect of all macronutrients. The thermic effect of food describes the energy that is required for the body to digest, absorb and dispose the ingested nutrients and the higher the effect the more calories will be burned on the way. 
Protein consumption also reduces the loss of muscle mass during a diet, which is important if we consider the fact that muscle tissue is highly metabolically active. You, son of a bitch. you might have seen in the news that Michael Phelps eats more than 8000 calories daily. The reason why he has to consume so many calories is not simply explained by him being physically active, but an important factor to take into the calculation is that he spends hours in relatively cold water and his body has to produce more heat. After all, water is 24 times more thermally conductive than air, so the body needs to produce much more heat to keep its temperature and it does so by burning extra calories. So how can we use this knowledge? Cold showers or maybe even ice baths for the tough ones. But also just going outside in the cold or already drinking ice cold water will make a difference. As an example, a study found that drinking 500 milliliters of water increased metabolic rate by 30% for a short period of time as the body needs to spend energy to heat up the water. So metabolism hack number 7 is cold exposure. But it can also work the other way around by a very similar mechanism. Something spicy can also boost your metabolism. A study found that drinking ginger tea increased the thermic effect of food compared to a placebo drink. And another study found that drinking ginger tea significantly increased the body temperature of women, which indicates that the body burns through more energy. Okay, the last metabolism hack is about my favorite drink ever, coffee. Researchers found that caffeinated coffee significantly boosts your metabolism compared to decaf coffee. But for everyone who doesn't like coffee, we can also go with caffeinated tea, like green tea, which is probably the winner of metabolism boosting drinks. Green tea contains caffeine, but also other molecules that can stimulate your metabolism. Alright, these are the 9 ways to boost your metabolism naturally. Another way to improve your metabolism is to take care of your gut health and here are two videos that talk about that topic. Also please consider giving this video a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.